Something I've learned in my many years of manhood and living in the world and working in communities and serving other people is how women who are not married and are fairly proud about how they look in the world's kingdom of how they look to the world of men is ill-willed. What I mean is that if you're beautiful by the world standards, are you beautiful by God's standards? And maybe you are, and maybe you're not, but a beautiful girl has a soul that's beautiful. And as a result, her soul radiates over others. But when a beautiful girl abuses someone, lies about it, steals from them, enters their house, and abuses them, and then frets about it because of what she discovers in her ill-willed approach to be neat or sleek or sexy or unique, She's just fucked her life before God. Now when I'm guttural, when I'm vicious, when I'm profane, I'm doing this so that you'll stop doing dishes and pay attention to your life. What I have found most often is that pretty girls often choose bastards for husbands, and then they wonder after seven years what happened to my life. Then they take another seven years to get their shit out of that relationship or they work it so hard that eventually they keep that relationship and then lie to everybody about the fact they're still in that ugly relationship. You see, a man of God doesn't want to do anything but raise up his wife to eagle's wings in front of the Lord's house. A man of God will protect the women he loves and make sure that they're safe at all times. A man of God who pretends to be a man of God is the abuser of other people's life. He likes to play games, he likes to solicit, he likes to steal technology, he likes to play games on other people's lives, and he wants to teach lessons that aren't his lawful right under any law of the Lord's house to teach.